Uh, yesterday we rehomed yesterday night from the 25k into this tank into the less aggressive 4500 and you see the vultures are not having a good time here at all they have sporting bloody bite marks on them I was watching this tank for a long time I think it's the Puraiba even though I fed them yesterday out of the um, out of their uh, normal feeding time but still the Piraiba ate okay yesterday but it's still probably biting them because it, it feels the stress and reacts it's a predatory response to stress or fear pheromones and hormones that are leaking in the water by by these fish so we're gonna have to take, catch them and put them in the 1800 gallon now we're gonna have to do a second step for them. This one is doing a little better, sitting on this on the bottom. A little less damage on him, but he's smaller. The bigger one is has got the brunt of it. It looks. So we're gonna get him out, get them both out, and put him here. Got lucky and got one guy. Okay, sweetie. Sorry about yesterday's. That was a horrible decision. To get the second one, I had to get inside the tank and get him. He wouldn't cooperate. But I was busy with visitors for the most of the day and he suffered a few more bites as you can see on the dorsal. The one on the peduncle, caudal peduncle is from the night and on the on the pectoral fins too, poor thing. Uh, so now he's in the, in the 1800 gallon as is his brother who suffered a lot more than him it hurts me to see this or to show it to you but since I'm being honest look at this what they've done to him overnight yesterday night I was leaving that was just fine I left a strong light overnight his dorsal fin is destroyed and there's quite a few bite marks all over the body. I'm pretty sure it's from the Pirae by I caught him doing this. <sighs> Anyhow, this is our 
brutal but brutal but honest update that was a big mistake to put the vultures in there I mean they're big and strong catfish and can be formidable but overall they're they're sissies when it comes to fighting for their for the place against other catfish the uh, my seer are doing much better these are the two red masir, still the marks from the net on their on their snouts. They're much smarter, and the Japanese, uh, I'm sorry, the Chinese masir with the stripe along the lateral line. They're smart and fast, and they know how to evade predation or any sort of unwanted attention. So these guys are doing fine. Hopefully these guys will come back too and heal up and come back. And this is not the first time they've been beat up so bad. The last time was probably like five or six years ago when I took him out of the 4500 gallon and and put him in the 25,000. I'm sorry you have to see this, but this is the reality of my fish keeping. I'm not a good fish keeper. I'm trying my best, but sometimes I make very bad decisions.